Tom Quigley was a company commander in the 2nd Infantry Division, battling through hedgerow country during the Allied assault on Saint-Lô, France. The Germans held Hill 192, a defensive advantage from which they could observe the advancing U.S. troops. A brutal battle followed. I had four or five men with me, and I said, let's go back down this hedgerow, see if we can help down there some way. We could see our troops try to go up that 192. I could see a German machine gun squad running with a machine gun over where they could set up and fire at these 38th Infantry guys going up the hill. So I had that BAR man put about six clips into him, and that stopped that. After the breakout in San Lo, the 2nd Infantry Division moved on to Brest. Quigley and his men were fighting house to house when two American officers arrived, and they were eager to kill Germans. I said, stay away from the windows. You blow the curtain out and they'll know where you are. Well, you throw the leaves out the window and he starts to shoot and the window curtain blows out and right back in comes the window because the return shot right in front of me and went up in my arm. I had to take about three or four things off to get down to my arm. Stripped to the waist to tend to his wounds, Quigley was caught off guard by a German paratrooper dashing up the stairs with a sniper rifle. The German was quickly captured. We got it back to battalion aid station and I slapped his ass up against the wall and I called an MP over there, he had a submachine gun, and the German thought he was gonna shoot him, I guess he passed out and fell down on the floor. <laughs> After nearly six weeks of fierce fighting, the 2nd Infantry Division was able to take control of Brest, allowing the Allies a strategic port from which they could deliver critical supplies to the troops. <laughs>